Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are fine. Welcome to your channel Maths D1 D2 Scientific Academy. And uh, today our lecture is related to chapter 3, Basic Algebra and Algebraic Manipulation. Your book is New Syllabus Mathematics 1. And uh, in new chapter, it's uh, in new book, it's chapter 3, but in old book, it's chapter 4. All right, we're going to do question number 11 of exercise 3A. In new book, it's exercise 3A, but in old book, it's exercise 4A. Before starting the lecture, I would request you that if you want more help regarding your subject, kindly subscribe this channel. Okay, now let's come to the lecture. Question number 11, I'm going to show you the question here. The question is, Raj is 12 m years old when his son was born when he was 9 m years old. First part, you have to find out why Raj's age 5 years later and find the sum of their ages in 5 years time. It means that you have to find out their ages. Okay, first I will write their present ages. Okay, Raj is 12 m years old. It's given. So, Raj's age is 12 m years old and now they are saying that his son was born when he was 9 m years old it means that when he was 9 that at that time his son was born now he is 12 and his son was born when he was 9 it means that you will subtract 9 from his present age then you will get his son's age so his son's age will be you have to subtract 9 because he was 9 when his son was born. So from his present age, we'll subtract that 9 and then you will get his son's age, which is 3 m years old. So Raj's age is 12 m years old and his son's age is 3 m years old. I hope that you are clear till here. Okay, G. Now in part 1, they are saying that find Raj's age 5 years later. Okay, G. In part 1, 5 years later. Okay, G. Think about your age. What will be after what will be your age after five years? How would you find out? What you will do is you will add the next five years in your age. In the same way, when you will find out Rat's age in five years, so what you will do is you will just add those coming five years in the present age. So do it. What you will do is you will just add those five years in the present age of Raj. So Raj's age in five years will be 12 m plus 5. Okay. G. Now in part two they are saying that find the sum of their ages in five years time. Now we have to find out the sum of their ages in five years time. So we have found Raj's age in five years. We will also find out son's age in five years. So, son's age in 5 years will be 12. What you will do it? Again, you will add 5 years in the present age of his son. So, the present age of his son is 3m. So, just add 5 in the present age of his son. So, Raj's age in 5 years will be 12m plus 5. And son's age in 5 years will be 3m plus 5. You will do nothing. You will just add 5. And now they are saying that in part to find the sum of their ages in 5 years time. So it means that we have to find out the sum of these ages, these two ages which are after 5 years. Now I am going to find out the sum of their ages. So sum of their ages will be equal to, I will add them, 12m plus, okay. I will do it over here in the next step so that it would be clear to you. Okay, I am adding over here. So I am going to add these both ages which are after 5 years. So 12m plus 5. Now I am adding this age plus 3m plus 5. I have added the age of Raj and his son. Okay, now you know that whenever we do the addition or subtraction, we have to solve the like terms together. So, we will write like terms together. This 5 is constant and this 5 is constant. So, these are the like terms and this is of m, m variable and this term is of m variable. So, these two are the like terms. So, write them together. So, I am going to write the like terms together. 12m plus 3m 
okay i have written them together like them together and the same way i would write the constants together so this 5 and this 5 i would write them together plus 5 plus 5 so the answer would be 12m plus 3m 12 13 14 15 15m plus 5 plus 5 is 10 so 15m plus 10 is your answer i hope that this sum is clear to you all right now let's come to question number 12 Okay, question number 12 is Hagzin bought 8 books at Here you can see the question Hagzin bought 8 books at Dollar W each And 7 pence at Dollar M each She had dollar 3 W plus 5 M left Find the amount of money she had at first So basically What does this question mean? This question means that Hagzin there is a girl okay who bought eight books at five at a w dollar each it means that she has bought eight books and the price of one book is dollar w and in the same way she has bought seven pens and the price of one pen is dollar m okay gee. after spending the amount on books and pens she had left with the amount 3W plus 5M dollar. So now they are saying that find out the total amount she had at first. So it means that you have to find out the total amount which she has spent and which she has left. So it means that you have to add all the amount that she has spent and she has left with. Alright. So Hagzin bought 8 books at W dollar. It means that the price of one book is W dollar so the price of eight books will be that you have to multiply the price of one book with eight then you will get the price of eight books so what you will do is okay i'm finding out the total amount she had at first okay okay the price of one book is dollar w so we have to write down the amount of eight books it means that i multiply that amount with eight so this would be the amount of eight books the amount of one book is dollar w and when i will find out the amount of eight books that would be dollar eight w because i will i will multiply the amount of one book with it and i will get eight w in the same way the price of one pen is dollar m so we have to write down the total amount which she has spent on seven pens i will multiply seven with m so i will get dollar seven m this m is the amount of one pen and when i will multiply the amount of one pen with seven i will get the total amount which she has spent on seven pens so it will it will become seven m now I will write the amount which she has left with and that is 3W plus 5M. And that is 3W plus 5M. Now I will open up the bracket and I will not write down the sign of this dollar. 8W plus 7M plus 3W plus 5M. Okay, you know that whenever we solve addition subtraction of the terms, we write the like terms together and we solve them. So this is M term. And this is M term. These are the like terms. So write them together. 7M plus 5M. Okay. In the same way, I write 8W and 3W. These are the like terms. So 8W plus 3W. Okay. So now I'm going to add them. 7 plus 5 will be 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12M. And 8 plus 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, W. I have solved these two terms together because these are the like terms. And I have solved these two terms together because these are the like terms. And as the amount was in dollar, so I will write dollar. So total amount she had at first was 12M plus 11W. I hope that uh, this concept is clear to you and uh, take very good care of yourself 
थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड अल्लाह हाफि